Now, when we are uh, talking cloud computing technology, so we know the different uh, characteristics of cloud computing technology, right? And those characteristics uh, will be uh, the part of the stack also, right? Those characteristics should be fulfilled, right? So we know there is uh, the characteristic called on-demand uh, self-service, right? Uh, there is uh, another characteristic called resource pooling, right? There are another ca characteristic called measured services. Then uh, there is uh, characteristics uh, uh, related to your uh, uh, virtualization process. Uh, there is a, a characteristics of the cloud computing, which says that the network uh, bandwidth or the network connectivity should be good, right? So all those are nothing but uh, the part of the, the stack or the layers of cloud computing implementation. Now it says that the cloud creates uh, a system Cloud create a system where resources can be pooled and partitioned as needed, right? So the resource pooling or the partition of the resources could be done. We have seen the concept of virtualization. So with the help of virtualization, it is possible. Second is cloud architecture uh, can couple software running on virtualized hardware in multiple locations to provide an on-demand service to user facing hardware and software. Here, uh, we have also seen the cloud computing architecture where we have seen that there are some, uh, some software, there is some hardware, there is some interfaces, some security part, some management part, right? Now, with the help of this uh, virtualization uh, technique, uh, when we, when any user want any type of services, so that services should be provisioned into the physical uh, physical hardware with the help of the virtualization uh, software. And these virtualization software will make a logical division of the hardware. It might be in uh, multiple places, like um, in the in the. Last class, I told you about the, the virtualization process where we can divide uh, one uh, physical machine uh, to different virtual machines, right? So with the help of that, uh, we can provide the on-demand services to the user. It is this unique combination of abstraction and metered service, right? So here with the help of virtualization, we can provide the abstraction. Abstraction means a user will only have the information or only have the, the knowledge uh, about their virtual machines and their APIs, the user interfaces that is provided to the user. Uh, the background information, uh, it is not known to them, right? So the abstraction could be achieved through virtualization process. And these services could be measured. So there is some, some metering, tech, uh, metering concept, right? Uh, just like your electricity meter. Uh, here also we have the meter which can find out what services has been used. So it says that it is this unique combination of abstraction and metered service that separates the architectural requirements of cloud computing system from the general description given for an entire internet application. Now, this concept of abstraction and measured services and those characteristics actually, uh, those five characteristics actually related to the cloud computing, it, they, separates uh, the cloud computing services and other internet application services. And uh, 
which makes the differences. Many description of cloud computing describe it in terms of two architectural layers, right? So a client as a front, uh, so we have, a, we have a client who are using it and uh, these uh, users are using uh, interface, user interface, that will be the front end of it. And there is a cloud services, which will be the back end of the, the whole uh, architecture of cloud computing. Right, so the characteristics, the implementation, all will be done in the back end, and uh, in the front end, there will be uh, uh, with the help of let's say web uh, web two or web three uh, technology, we have uh, this uh, client client interaction uh, with the user interfaces, and through the user interfaces, client or the user of the uh, cloud uh, computing services can use those cloud computing services given by the cloud service providers. Okay. So in the stack, we are going to see uh, what is in the upper layer and what is in the lower level, lower layer. So in the lower level, definitely we have all the things related to the cloud. And in the front layer or the upper layer, we have the UI user interfaces, uh, which is which is working as a, as a bridge or as an interface between the between the customer and the and the cloud. Okay. 